Hey, what's up guys? Strike here coming at you with some brand new awesome Batman Arkham Knight news. And today we're going to be looking at the details of the season pass for Batman Arkham Knight that will come out on June 23rd. And uh, we got some amazing stuff uh, uh, leaked, or not really leaked, but uh, revealed for the season pass. And uh, the big thing right now is Batgirl, uh, A Matter of the Family. It's one of the story uh, expansions for the game, and uh, it's a prequel uh, to the Arkham Knight game, and I'm assuming Arkham Asylum and Arkham City as well, because it involves Batgirl, bef you know, before she becomes Oracle. And uh, we've got an actual picture of here. She's sporting her New 52 skin, which is, I'm pretty sure, just a standard bat suit she's going to be using. I, th I think, it, uh, it looks really cool in the, uh, uh, uh in the, uh, render that they have shown. But uh, hopefully we'll get like a trailer for her soon because that is an amazing looking Batgirl, and uh, an amazing uh, idea to do is to do a, a prequel story to Batgirl, which sorry they didn't do in Arkham Origins, but um, uh, they they should they could have done it in Arkham Origins because uh, she Barbara Gordon was uh, was there not paralyzed you know before she becomes oracle but you know she she was a bit young so i can see why they didn't want to do it but honestly if they were going to do batgirl for arkham knight i kind of expected them to do stephanie brown because stephanie brown is is blonde um and uh yeah she's 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 more of like the uh modern uh, uh batgirl um, at least for like you know when Tim Drake is Robin because Tim Drake is currently Robin in this universe. I I'm surprised they didn't uh, use the Stephanie Brown uh, Batgirl. Um, it's not a big deal. I prefer I, I, I kind of prefer the uh, character of Barbara Gordon uh, to to Stephanie Brown since I don't know too much about Stephanie Brown. But but Stephanie Brown is is blonde, so so that this just means I can't pretend that I'm playing as my girlfriend in the game. So. Um, uh, the next story DLC pack is the Season of Infamy, and uh, the description really is just you just play as Batman in all new story missions featuring legendary supervillains invading Gotham City with new story arcs, missions, and gameplay features. Now, it would be cool if, uh, if, if for, for whatever reason, Hush isn't a part of the main game of Arkham Knight, which I'm assuming he will be since he was in the main game as a side mission in Arkham City. If he isn't in that, it would be cool if he was a, uh, a story DLC character, but I'm not going uh, to say that it's going to be him because I feel like they would just do him as as as, uh, as they did in Arkham City, if not bigger, because he is more of a threat now, and uh, so I'm assuming he is going to be uh, in the main story. But I'm really excited to see what villains they choose for the season of Infamy. Which, uh, it, it sounds awesome. I can't wait to see. Because there's, uh, new gameplay features as well. So that's going to be interesting. Now the next one is Gotham City Stories. Uh, where you play as Batman's key allies in narrative missions. Extending their storylines from both before and after the events of in Batman Arkham Knight. Uh, I can't wait to see what that's all about. I'd like to see where Catwoman has been since Arkham City. Since we, uh, so since we don't really know what's been going on with her. I would love the Nightwing uh portions because nightwing is uh just amazing and uh nightwing is probably my favorite uh char playable character after batman in the games so that would be that would be pretty cool and then you know robin we've gotten before but it'd be nice to see him again and uh then there's the legendary batmobiles with themed tracks drive the most iconic batmobiles from batman's 75 year history on custom built race tracks each themed to that Batmobile's specific era. Every Batmobile will be drivable across every racetrack. Now, I'm assuming this means that the, this is their way uh, out of not doing um, uh, Batmobile's skins because the, the way the Batmobile for the game is built, which uh, is, is, is just fine by me, but I always kind of figured they might do Batmobile, like different Batmobiles, like the same way they do different characters. They just have them play differently. So it's awesome to hear that they're going to be having their own race tracks. So hopefully we'll see some of our favorite Batmobiles, like you know the regular 1960s Batmobile, the the 1989 Batmobile, the animated series Batmobile, all these other great iconic Batmobiles that we know that we know and love throughout Batman's 75 year history. Then there are the Crime Fighter challenge maps. Engage in a series of new challenge maps utilizing the unique play styles of Batman and his allies. So this is basically what. Uh, like the dual play feature comes in where you can use 
one of your sidekicks um, to help you uh, fight crime in like Gotham City and stuff, which is just really like really really awesome, and uh, like it just sounds so freaking amazing, and um, I, I can't wait to, to to use this game mode. And uh, the next thing on the list are the character skins. And it's just a variety of skins for each of the characters, including Batman, Robin, Nightwing, and Catwoman. And I can't wait to see what skins they bring out. Once again, each of these uh, characters deserves their own topic video on what skins they could possibly have for their character. And uh, that's basically it for this season pass. Um, there will be more details released soon in the future. But until then, that's all we get for now. Uh, really excited for Batgirl. But uh, thank you all so much for watching this video. Let me know what you think about the season pass in the description below. Uh, or in the comment section below. And I will see you all in the next video. Later, taters.